as they say in the movies, action. All right, you're done with your first week, uh, and you all did great. Many of you showed up both days. Uh, so that's something we definitely want to work on. We want to get here. Uh, there'll be more and more and more of these videos as we get going. I've got the green screen behind me. We'll see how that edits out. Let's talk a little bit about base knowledge. Uh, and our base knowledge needs to start to grow together. As I interviewed and talked and cajoled and um, perhaps pontificated all week, there are a few themes that I saw come out. The first theme is there are going to be black book things black hole things, and base knowledge. You all need to know there are 25.4 millimeters in an inch, and it is exact. You all need to know that one liter of water has a mass of one kilogram. Each of these things I am completely convinced you have been at least exposed to once. I haven't been there for all of your lives all the time, but I have evaluated and looked at a, a bits of curriculum around and looked at what we're teaching in the schools or on Discovery Channel. You all need to know that if you drop a ball from a very tall building and ignore air resistance, that it will accelerate at 9.8 meters per second per second or 32.2 feet per second per second. That means you climb to the tallest tower, call in the vacuum so there is no air resistance. You drop a ball. One second later, it is going at a velocity of 32.2 feet per second. Two seconds after you dropped it, it is going at 64.4 feet per second. Three seconds after you dropped it, it is going at, ah, can't do that math anymore. That's how it works. Let's go to its first two seconds of flight. You drop the ball. It is under a constant force due to gravity. After one second, it is traveling at 32.2 feet per second. After the second second, it is traveling at 64.4 feet per second. It has been under a constant force, therefore, if it has a constant mass, it is constantly accelerating, which means that if you want to get its average velocity, you take the average of the start and the finish. The average of 0 plus 64.4 is 32.2. How long was it traveling for? Two seconds. How far has it traveled? 64.4. Put that in your head. It works going down. It works going up. We will be adding into our bucket, as we say. Some of your buckets are fuller than others. They all need to start to become more and more full with what would be somewhat considered base science knowledge. I'll let some of the other instructors and the other great courses we have in sociology where some of you may be looking at an inconvenient truth look at parse portions of this, but we must realize that in an engineering world we need to develop a whole set of skills. One of that sets of skills is to sit in a room and have some base knowledge without pulling something out of a book. Thanks for listening. We're going to see how this works on the green screen. Cut. <laughs>